Mitch and Nick Tiano, the big 6'5", 240 pound quarterback, handing off up the middle to his running back. A couple of those look at me penalties, which he really didn't like. They keep it on the ground with Ford, and he is sandwiched at about the, for the mocks. Hand it off right up the middle on the carry. Two for two on third downs, but they need nine here. They hand it off to Ford, and he is stuffed right at the line. Of the big strength coming into 2019 is three outstanding senior starting receivers for the Gamecocks, and there's one of them, Daniel. Mox showing blitz. They back out. They rush three. Passes away and caught, so Cooper and Ford. First down. And a nice hole there for Cooper. And the leading tackler for the Mox in their season opening win over Eastern Illinois. Cooper got a man wide open. It is the aforementioned Trey Berry. Butch, you called his. See if they can overcome this one. Cooper goes deep to the end zone. Got Hester open. He's got it. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. Wow. <laughs> Each team has had it once. Gamecocks get a touchdown. The Mox got a field goal on their first possession. And here is Ford in territory here at the Gamecock 35. And I don't know about it now. Montrez Lang getting in there. The end of John Gross here. Gamecocks first down at the 25. Cooper goes up top and it is caught. Out at the 47 yard line, an incredible win to John Gross here. Gamecocks first down at the 25. Cooper goes up top and it is caught. Out at the 47 yard line, an incredible win to John Gross here. Gamecocks first down at the 25. Cooper goes up top and it is caught. Out at the 47 yard line, an incredible win to John Gross here. Gamecocks first down at the 25. Cooper goes up top and it is caught. Out at the 47 yard line, an incredible field position now for JSU. Big hole up the middle and Kinsey is going to score. Touchdown Gamecocks. We have an injured lineman back at the 29. Actually two Some field position now for JSU. Big hole up the middle and Kinsey is going to score. Touchdown Gamecocks. We have an injured lineman back at the 29. Actually two there. Oh yeah. Ooh. You know that's the, the downside to hanging in there on a block. You can't see Let's see what they can put together on this offensive series. Tiano fakes, rolls out, and almost threw an interception. Ain't enough for the, for the change to be moved. Quick pass out to Stefferson. Good job keeping his balance. That one from their own 41. Thought we had a defensive lineman jump early, but no flag, but it really doesn't matter as Michael. As the Gamecocks pick up their ninth first down of the game. Cooper under pressure, passes away, receiver is wide open. Trey Berry cuts back at the 20. Trey Berry will be tripped up and taken down. Cooper keeps and scores. Here comes pressure off the edge. Cooper steps up. Delivers it downfield, and Hester's got it at the 30-yard line of Chattanooga. He had the, we have ourselves a ball game. And the kick will be fielded inside the five by Jacksonville State's second down and nine. Handed off to Green again, cuts back, and able to turn the corner this time. And I tell you, that is at the 38 now. Quick pass to Josh Pearson. Got a good block from Daniel Bird. And Pearson with a big game down to the Mollies. Chattanooga's had more plays, and they've controlled time of possession. Trey Berry wide open, busted coverage. And Berry dives for the pylon. Blitz. 
and they back out. They do bring one extra man from the left corner. Cooper stays alive and finds Trey Berry. You talk about poise in the pocket. They Cooper, little wheel route. He's got Kinzer for a big game. 15 yards. Second time they've gone for it. Play of the game so far right here. Cooper with plenty of time. Scrambling out to his left. And he is going to throw it up for grabs. And it's going to be caught at the 15-yard line. Probably putting it in the air here, though. Blitz up the middle. Cooper pass away and caught. Who else? Trey Berry. Here comes a blitz up the middle again. Kinsey gets around the corner and is going to be in for the touchdown. He took a shot from Cameron Smith. And here's Bryant Wallace, and this time he... Gamecocks load the box, the give to Ford, and he is taken off his feet by Ritter behind the line of scrimmage. Huge play there by the... Cooper takes the snap, hands off to Matthews, and Matthews is going to sprint ahead for the first down and more inside the 10, taken down by... Ch Cooper on the sneak. And he gets the ball across the goal line for the touchdown. And a little skirmish after the play, a flag. And Wallace adds the extra point. So Jackson will stay. And Tiano hands it off to Wood, loses the football, and JSU is on it at the 29. Especially in the second half. Third and nine, hand off to Green. Finds a seam and dives. Play clock down to five. Webb pumps, looking to run now. Inside the 20, stays on his feet to the 18. Had to have this one. Green gets it. Trying to get around the corner. And will step out of bounds. Good deal. Uh, just, you know, much better. Really like our lucky game cocks this week. I don't know what you call that. We looked like last week. Just didn't play very well. And, you know, lost a pretty good team, you know, on the road. So we just bounced back. Talked a lot about this week. You know, this is the will to win. And, you know, finding ways to win games. We didn't play perfectly tonight. We got a lot we got to work on, get better at. But we did make a huge jump improvement. Uh, I think, you know, up front offensively uh, got a lot better, played much, much better. So, and still got a ways to go in, in all three phases. But, um, you know, win's a win. We're, we're excited about it. You know, beat a pretty good football team tonight. And, you know, just excited to, to get to win at home. And good crowd, good atmosphere. And, uh, like I said, just bounce back. It tells you a lot about this team. And that's kind of what we talked about this week. Just, you know, we had a good week of practice. It was hot, you know, and we did. We practiced through it. We didn't have a bad day. We had a really good week of practice. And so a lot of guys step up tonight and make plays. So excited about that. You talked about bouncing back, you know, whenever Chattanooga had scored and cut it to seven. Well, I mean, I think uh, that was a key point in time in the game. We talked about, you know, is, is four or five get plays going to determine most outcomes of every game? You know, you don't know which four or five that's going to be, you know, in, uh, in a 170-80 play game, you know. So it was kind of, you know, well, that drives one of those. But what I was excited about our team tonight was you, you knew Chattanooga wasn't going to go away. I mean, they were going to keep playing. And, you know, and uh, they come up with some good drives. They had a 97-yard drive. They had, uh, you know, that drive you're talking about. And we had to come back and answer, but proud of the way we handled that, and uh, you know we made some key, you know, uh, key fourth down conversion, keep that drive alive, and find a way to get the ball in the end zone, which was was huge. You know, they get it back to one score game, we'd find a way to go back up two scores, which was big. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we're just trying to get the best five on the field. Um, you, you'll see, you know, and then we got Cam got hurt, you know, so Shaddix has to go to guard. Magic has to come back at tackle and plays well. And I think Butler played much, much better, you know, from the center position and uh, just for execution of snap and everything. So he had one bad one tonight, but, uh, you know, he, he did a lot better. But, you know, Magic will start playing inside some too. So, I mean, I, it's, we got about seven, eight guys right now we're comfortable with him. The game, but they're getting better. You, know, you just forget how young we are. You know, you look out there and you see all those guys, young guys playing, and you know, even defensively, you know, we're so young up front. 
you know, times when you just talk about one score game, I'm looking out there and there's three of the four defensive linemen, and sometimes four out of four all freshmen. You know, so I mean, it's uh, we're, we're young up front, but they got better, yeah, and only gonna get better as the year goes. Uh, the more games they play. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. I, I know if somebody fell on his ankle, uh, so I don't know if it's a twist. Uh, you know what, what happened to it? I'm sure they'll we'll X-ray it probably tomorrow and kind of get a report on it. No, but I, I hadn't heard anything tonight. You talked about seeing a lot of improvement from the first game. Is that a relief? Well, I mean, I think it is. You never know how young teams will respond, and I think we responded the right way. And I could tell that this week in practice, and how we went to practice, and how we battled to get better. And I seen a lot of guys doing that, so you felt pretty comfortable how we was going to play. Now that don't mean I didn't mean we was going to win the game, you know, but I, I felt pretty comfortable in how we was going to respond to playing not so well last week. You know, and like I said, I think we got to continue to get better up front. By no no means have we arrived. I mean, there's a lot of lot of room for improvement still. So there's a lot of a lot of things to fix. You know, defensively, I know they're we're a little upset. You know, we gave up too many still explosive plays. Uh, we did let them take a 97 yard drive. I mean, every time we got in third and long, we just couldn't get off field defensively. They they make make a play and keep a drive going. And um, but you know they did come out and tried to. On the first drive, established a run game, and they took that drive down. Was able to hold them to a field goal, and then from then on, I felt like we controlled the line of scrimmage. It was hard for them to run the ball. Now they did pop a couple runs that were longer runs, uh, but for the most part, they had to start throwing the football. Which in a one-score game, two-score game, that was I think our, our front played pretty good. And uh, you know, I don't know the back end. I don't know how how well we played. I know they're they're a little bit disappointed there of you know giving up some passes, but they had some good receivers. And I thought their quarterback played really well. I mean, he was uh, very accurate tonight. I mean, a lot of out cuts, and he put the ball there on time in the right spot. It wasn't that we just had blown coverage or we wasn't in good position. We was in pretty good position. It was just good throw and catch. I mean, I know it was two or three times a game. I said, hey, this is good throw and catch, you know. So I thought he played really well. And uh, 19 receivers are good football player, you know. The will to win, you, the players mentioned that too. And they said that was something you were saying this week. Where did that come from? Well, I mean, I think every team, you know, you either have that or you don't have it. You know, and I think it's it's what why we love this game so much. You you that's what fans want to see. It's what y'all want to see. It's what you know. It's what the game's about. You know, you want to see what your team's made out of. You know, it don't mean your team's gonna win every game, and it don't mean it mean everything's gonna go out there and go perfectly for you. But that I call it. You play with a lot of heart. You have that desire, that want to, and that will to win, and finding a way to win. And that's what makes great teams special. You know, and uh, that's the difference between being. Average and good, and uh, the fine line between being great and good. You know, this, this game is <laughs> was those same game of inches. I mean, it's, it, it really is. And you know, that will to win is you know, some teams have it, some teams don't have it. You know, we've been fortunate enough around here, our culture. You know, we've had that. And uh, you know, I went back and showed them some old film of when things didn't go all the way right. And we found ways to win games. So I think it made the point, and uh, they got that. And uh, I, I felt like we got into. A little bit of thing where, you know, the losses we had last year, we had you, know, you have a lot of turnovers in the game and, you know, things didn't go right, maybe kicking game-wise, and we just didn't find ways to win those games. And I felt like that opener, it's kind of like that. I kind of felt it on sidelines, like, oh, kind of, oh, here we go again type deal, you know. Well, I mean, great teams don't do that. I mean, they find ways to overcome a turnover, uh, a kicking game mistake, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a missed, uh, busted assignment defensively and give up a long play. So I was proud of us. I mean, you knew Chattanooga was going to fight. And you knew and they, they, every time they got it back to a one score game night, we'd respond. You know, we didn't go out there and, hey, this, here we go again type deal. It's, and we made, we made plays. And that's kind of what you got to do. So I think it's a good point to make for our team, and uh, especially a young team. So, I mean, that's uh, very, very proud of them right now. And we got a ways to go still. It is. I mean, I was not very confident right now kicking that long of a field goal right now with these guys. And I mean, hopefully that comes. You know, I'm, I'm pretty confident probably 20 and in right now. Uh, 
and and hopefully that's going to come around. You know, you hope you get inside the thirty, you got chances to make field goals, but um, you know, not right now. You know, so I backed, I, I moved them up the other day. They're out there kicking, you know, fifty yards. I said, look, guys, y'all might as well practice them right there right now until y'all prove that we can kick it. You know, in, inside the twenty. I mean, we we not we we probably gonna go for it. So we, that's what we did tonight, and hopefully that'll come along. I think we got the ability. You know, it's just guys, somebody coming on and taking the job. I mean, Wallace is kind of won the job and um you know he misses a PAT night so job will be back open next week you know we'll see how, how it goes you know Parker has you know kicked the ball better on kickoff tonight we've started Pierce back kicking which has probably messed him up a little bit punting you know but got two really good punters and uh, they both get the job done so hopefully I have somebody step up and can do that. I think it is. I mean, this you know, Trey's yeah, he makes plays. You got to find ways to get in the ball, and uh, it, it causes some, I think, matchup problems. You know, when you put him back over to a single receiver side and put our other receivers away from him. I mean, we got in some formations that we really liked, and it just made them line up, and it, it gave us some things. But it's kind of hard to single him up backside because he's he's pretty good, and uh, when they don't do that, you can throw throw a run to the other side, and it makes it makes it pretty good. But he had a big night tonight. I mean, I think. Uh, just being comfortable, and, and we're creating ways to get him the ball as well. Is it especially, is that a really good connection, especially when, when Jerry has to scramble and have to work? It is. Good? I mean, I, I think we worked scramble drill a few times in practice, and uh, he's doing a good job keeping his eyes downfield and finding finding receivers. And he did that a few times tonight. And he threw one up. You know, he, he wishes we, he wishes he had the four down one back. You know, we sprint out. We knew it was going to bring pressure. They did. We sprint out and get away from it. We had a busted route on the play. Uh, so we ran a wrong route. And I said, when you see that, just run. It's fourth and five. Just go get the first down. Don't fit, fit around and then throw it up. So he wishes he had that one back. Um, you know, and whether you got the first down or not, don't don't turn the ball over. So, uh, but then it's, it's hard to take it away from him because he, the fourth down catch to Trey. He scrambles, he's back going on his back, and he finds him. He scrambles around a couple of other time and picks up a big first down. So it's part of what makes him make the spectacular play. But, uh, you know, and he has the only bad decision I thought he made tonight was the one he threw up and, and had the interception. So, we, you know, we didn't turn the ball over sides that time. And with the fumble snap that we got back, you know, which was, was good, was lucky there. Uh, down on the goal line, was able to score on that drive, and then I don't think they turned the ball over. We got to get more turnovers defensively. They made it. No, they did. They lost the fumble, didn't they? On fourth down. Yep, yeah, that's right. Considering the improvement your team showed, will you sleep better tonight? Oh, no doubt. You know, you get get back on the win. I just say it all the time. Heck, it's it's, it's uh, you know, you know. Unconditional love. I'm always good as my last win, right? So that's that's, 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 the, world, that's the world we live in, right? Is there's no unconditional love. It's you know, everybody expects us to win. We got to show up, and do our job, and win. But uh, and that's good. That's good that we've created that culture. You know that, that everybody expects that. But this team played much better. And uh, you know, you just knew one game wasn't going to find them, and this game's not going to find them. I don't know how much we improve as we go for the year. I think this team's got a lot of potential and. You know, we got to keep having guys grow up and get better. I think it's huge. You know, I, I think it gets you back in the national, you know, picture. You know, how you play in that game. Um, you know, the game's not going to determine how our season's going to go. These are really good. Like last week, this week, next week, they're all that playoff caliber games. You know, our schedule's pretty tough. And that only helps you down the line. I mean, I think it helps you get ready for your conference. It helps you when you get ready for playoffs. So this one, I think, uh, you know, with them being, you know, up there where we were, uh, you know, how you play in this game, I kind of think helps you national ranking type deal if you can go and play well and find a way to win the game. Now, it's going to be, you know, tough to do. They get a good football team. You know, they'll roll in here on Thursday and they'll be ready to play and got a dynamic quarterback and, you know, they're well coached. So it's going to be it's gonna be a fun game. I mean, I've heard a lot of people talk about they, they got this encircled on their calendar fan-wise and can't wait to come see this this game.